Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode. And what I've done now is I've actually upgraded somewhat to the uh, the 112 patch. And I'm just going to finish taking this out while I'm talking. Boom, there we go. I've also taken out my cobbledger in case you're wondering. But with the 112 patch, we uh, the main thing is I think there was a, uh, a script change, which I'm going to look at in a second here. Um, oh yeah, X Nihilo. I'll get to that in a second here. Eesh. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Philosopher Stone Basalt. You can actually now make marble as well. So, I am going to go here, scroll all the way to the end. Uh, basalt plus philosopher stone equals marble now, and teach that to the system. Awesome. Boom, boom, and boom, and you can see I have an insane amount ish of EMC. Thank you, Mob Farm, and thank you, Energy Collectors, actually. And well, let's see, we got ten thousand EMC there right now just passively but now that my clan star is empty i am going to grab four of these and we now have a clan star zway right learn that thank you and oh you are full so let's empty you out and come on get where you're supposed to be clan star dre dry whatever uh, okay, empty you into there now, and you start filling up. You can hold a lot more EMC. However, one of the main things I want to do now is I want to make some dark matter, right? Which I can't remember off the top of my head. Is it the block of diamond? Boomp. Yes. Ooh, and it needs eternalist fuel, um, which I can make actually. So, uh, eternalist is. So we're going to need 32 Mobius fuel. All right, well, grab 64. We'll put half of that back. And I need my crafting station. So, like so. There we go. There's my Eternalist fuel. Uh, the other way to get it is to throw an energy type item into here and just let it build up till you hit Eternalist. Uh, I didn't want to really wait that long, though. Okay, so that is now learned. And we go back to our crafting station. Block of diamond, eight eternalist fuel, which each eternalist fuel is equivalent to another diamond. So 17 diamonds later, we have dark matter. Achievement to get, all that matters. We're going to teach you. And now I'm going to grab three more. I am going to actually, um, let's get an iron, shall we? That holds 50,000 EMC. That would be perfect for what I need. And um, I don't have feathers, do I? Oh, hell. But in the meantime, we're just going to grab what six string. I'm going to put half of these back in here because I don't need them right now because I need a chicken to spawn. I had one flying around or walking around, I should say. Um, problem is chickens have no fear of heights. So he just walked right off the edge. We're going to grab eight iron and a lava bucket. And now we're going to go basically like so. That will get us an iron band, which I am going to teach this thing now. All right, you know how to make that. Awesome. And if I remember correctly, it is dark matter on the sides, string top and bottom, black hole band. And we have a magnet. Ooh, hello, Mr. Pigman. You want to be my friend? Ooh, look, my red heart. Cool. Where's my red hearts? I've been storing in here. So there's that. We got four more diamonds sitting here. Fun times, right? 
Now though, I need, I need, I need, I need a chicken. I may have actually ended up with a feather at some point in time for my mob farm, but it immediately gets turned into uh, what you call it, EMC, turned into diamonds for technically. But how am I going to get? I need passive mobs to spawn, so that means grass, right? Hmm. Well, let's see. What can we do then? In the meantime, builder's wand. Let's let's make a builder's wand. So I'm going to need an iron. Wherever it's at. Iron ingot. Oh, and by the way. Tinker's Construct, empty canister. It's EMC-able. That's 410 and a bone, actually. So, But it only registers as 410, so you can't, you know, abuse that either. <coughs> Excuse me. But let's see. I'm looking for sticks. One, two. Two sticks. Thank you much. And now we go here. We go like so, like so, and... Iron wand, max, nine blocks, fluid stop, mode horizontal. And now I'm going to go here, run through to the end, and may seem a little counterproductive, but I'm gonna put cobble down. Uh, this is my primitive tree farm here. And you know, pretty much you just toss charcoal in here, powers the logger, logger chops down trees. Bada boom, bada bing, that's another way I've been getting EMC. Right now, I'm having to manually replace the sand with humus whenever it uh, happens. I'm thinking about just saying screw it and putting grass down instead. Or not grass, but dirt. And I am using or losing space by doing it this way. But this was just to get something going while I was waiting for that. Now, also, <laughs> you want to talk about slow. I have a Stirling engine or powering a laser going into an assembly table. And, oh cool, I made that iron chipset. I'm trying to make at least one of each of the chipsets. Because once I do, then I can start making different, like, logistics pipes stuff. But I've already made the basic, which required one golden chipset. It was either that, or it was going to be four iron and four gold. Or, a little bit of time, some charcoal, it's a golden redstone. So, yeah. And I'm just take care of this manually. Oh, damn. Whatever shall I do? My stone axe broke. Actually, I'm kind of thinking, probably not a great idea. Dark matter axe. Because I will need to make one in the future anyway. So let's, let's see if I can do that real quick. Do I have enough EMC for three dark matter? I have enough EMC for six. And I need two diamonds. Because eventually I'm going to need to make all the uh, all the dark matter tools so I can upgrade them. Well, maybe not all of them, but I need to make a, a a guitar in the future. So, yeah, that's kind of a thing. Um, I don't need this bucket, so it can go away. Let's grab some bone meal. I want to see if I'm remembering the dark matter axe correctly. Can I get you to grow? No? How about you? No, there we go. Oh, and it popped off a sapling. Oh, and it's a big one. Uh, what was it? There we go. Power up all the way. Right click the bottom of a tree, and it just takes the whole tree out. So, boom. It does tend to drop saplings, though. That's... So that actually may be a better option than the logger. There we go. And there we go. Now, how much, and it's not even burning EMC off my client star. That's, that's awesome. I don't think the black hole band will either. Let's see though. First these, we're going to, this, this is one block higher? No. This is exactly where I need it to be. Trying to keep everything roughly the same level if I can. Just because it helps save time. 
less jumping. Since there's no aluminum in this map, I can't make myself some traveler's boots, which would be awesome, but... Oh, well. You do what you can with what you got, right? And in this case, I am probably going to kill myself making a giant you know, spawning platform. Oh, and there went my... Uh, my builder's wand. Yeah, I do have to say the X Nile one. Much prefer it. But again, you do what you got, or you do what you can with what you got. So, um, yeah, let's make two of them this time. Just because I know these things are going to come in handy, I'm going to use them a lot. And there's that. And this time, maybe I should check to see if it has an EMC value attached. It does. Okay. Well, come over here, and I'm going to teach you to that. I've been getting blue slime, by the way, from this thing. Apparently, I somehow got lucky enough that blue slimes will occasionally spawn up in there. Like, it's reading some portion of that mob farm as a slime island. Don't really know, but, uh, cool. All right, now you... God, that's loud. You need to get powered up. And now you're all grass. I'm doing it this way just to uh, save from having to wait for grass to spread, pretty much. I mean, there. I think there is a way to get regular grass blocks. And then once I do that, I can just EMC them in. But, okay, 42, 33, 24, 15, 6. And I do want to kind of keep it the same width all the way down. So I'm just going to hold off on the last. Okay. Shift right click. There we go. And boom. Awesome. And now let's get this off my hotbar before I accidentally turn a whole bunch of sand, or a bunch of grass into sand. Let's go get some uh, torches, shall we? We should probably light this up. I'm surprised nothing spawned yet. That's... Yeah, I'm on normal mode, so... Weird. Alright, well, torches. EMC value, what, 9? So, there we go. Now hit F7. And I'll be able to see spots where mobs can spawn. Which, wow, I actually put these down just about perfect, didn't I? Damn, I never do that. That, I'm, quite frankly, slightly impressed with myself there. Um, yep, so now we kind of wait. I want a feather. If I get one more feather, I can have flight. Which would be awesome. But while I'm waiting for passives to spawn, which should be roughly any time now. Oh, that's right. I can't change the thing there, can I? Yep. Let's look at this. X Nihilo has been added to the pack, right? I think since version 1.8, 1.9, or 08 or 09 or something. Um, barrels, right? Yep. Nope. Barrels are disabled. Uh, crucibles. Nope. Nope. They're disabled. Stone barrel? Nope. Sibs. Oh, hey, look at that. But no, they're disabled. Uh, hammers. Disabled. Crook? No, nope, no nope, crooks for you either. Uh, let's see. What is it? Silkworm? No, nope, no, nope, they're disabled as well. Uh, witch water. If I can somehow get witch water, yes, I can put it, put it into a bucket. However, the barrels are disabled. The only recipe I can find in here that would work is the artificial hive. However, you have to make it into a scented artificial hive, which means you need a barrel with seed oil in it. Come on. Hi. Thank you. And seeing as there's no barrels available at all, X Nihilo, I think, is just taking up space for no reason. So, and there's nothing has spawned in yet. That is, like, annoying. But now that my little what-the-hell moment with X Nihilo is past, 
right, what are the ways to get grass? Uh, scrap boxes, which, okay. Uh, world transmutation, yeah, but that puts it in the world. That doesn't... Okay, Ring of Arcana, which is expensive as hell, but you can do it that way and craft it. So, scrap box is pretty interesting. Or Silk Touch. Uh, there's like a silky screwdriver from Project E, but it requires tungsten. And I don't think that's part of the map. So, ooh. I've been drying this stuff because it, it's a lot better food whenever it's actually dried. It's an amazing food when it's dried. So I'm going to take, we're going to drop those off, get rid of that stuff. And I'm going to get rid of that one for now. I don't need it. Still have 433,000 EMC. Y you start burning through it pretty quick once you get to a certain point. Grab some more diamonds, though. The mob farm is doing, eh, it's doing work. Doing good work. But I think our, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our best bet is actually going to be doing uh, flowers of power, or whatever you want to call them. So we got seven glowstone, energy collector mark one, plus a dark matter, gives you a mark two, which now generates at three times the speed. So we're going to learn you, and we're going to get, I guess, another one. Pull you out of there. Plop you there and there. I've also got one underneath this relay. So we're up to 22,000 EMC in this climb star now. Let's get another 50,000 in there. And let's uh, just pop those in there, I guess. And that one. I don't have enough for another, well, maybe? If I craft it myself, I do. Cool. Um, let's go over here. But yeah, next will be a uh, antimatter relay, Mark II. This thing here, speed it up, and it has a larger internal buffer. It can transfer power faster, which is probably a good thing. Oh, there are tulips. Come with me. You shall be destroyed now. All right. But yeah, so uh, we've got what three Mark IIs, and then two Mark Ones. So we're looking at forty-four EMC a second. Passive generation. Which means we can now go over here, though, look at our quests, see what else we have. Uh, let's see. What shall we work on next? The Bronze Age. Yeah, let's get that knocked out, shall we? And I think I may have a screenshot of it somewhere. Probably not quite yet. Here we go. But Bronze Age. And we'll do that, even though it is slightly annoying. But I already have that folder open to go through and grab. So we're looking at what? Carpenter, Forester, Mushroom Picker, Biogas Engine, Rainmaker, Electrical Engine, Pumpkin Farm, Biogenerator, and a Still. All right, well, the Electrical Engine is, ooh, got some passive mobs over there. I've already kind of killed the ones I had before. God, it still freaks me out. Um, actually, the axe is slightly better at damage than the pick is. It's to be expected. We have a chicken. Awesome. That's exactly what I want. And you better drop a feather, you jerk. You did. Cool. And you guys are just going to get slaughtered. You know what? We'll turn that on. And why the hell are, maybe it's that? Is that quieter now? No, that is still loud as hell. Apparently there's no volume slider associated with Project E. Thank you. It's all stuff I had before, except for the feathers, which is awesome. So I need four feathers, I need four dark matter, and an iron ring. And... Put you guys away. Oh, apparently I learned leather too. Cool. Um, these do have to stay on your hot bar for them to work, though. I don't even have enough for one dark matter right now. But what are you up to now? You're up to thirty thousand. That's a quarter of a dark matter in there already, so I can live with it. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Oh hell. <laughs> 
I will remove extra utilities once I make sure it's not going to break anything. Would you go in the damn void? Thank you. The problem with removing a mod is it starts, the forge sometimes becomes unhappy with you for removing said mod. So I'm just not going to deal with that unhappiness right now. And turn that back on as loud as it is. Cool, we got a tree. Thank you. So let's just get rid of like that. That and... Wow, I just tapped it. And it did that. Hmm. Cool. I'm okay with that. As long as I remember to be careful with it. Okay, string engine can go in, the chest can go in. Uh, the logger cannot, though. Hmm, interesting. I got more red hearts over here. Good lord. I've been getting so many red hearts from the stupid pigmen. Which is also where a lot of AMC came from. I'll tell you what. If you're going to do this, I would set up another farm, actually. Um, the only problem with that is you actually have to go AFK by the in the nether by the farm. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you're going to be breeding bees, hint, hint, you have to breed some in the nether. Then uh, it's it's not a bad deal for you. But I am definitely not doing bee breeding on camera. Um. Okay. Well, there's the electrical engine I need. Uh, the biogas engine is going to require a piston, two, three, and then eight more bronze. Oops, I said eight, not nine. And then I need a couple of stone gears, right? And a piece of glass. Glass. Okay. Easy enough. Let's get these made first. Teach them to the system. Just because I want to teach everything I can't. Would you? Why can't you shift click out of that? It's some sort of safety feature to keep you from accidentally putting things into it it's not supposed to have. I don't know. I do know it's annoying. All right, so we need, let's go with the carpenter next, right? So that is going to be a sturdy casing. Um, let's get like half a stack of glass because we're actually going to need quite a bit of it. And six copper. Can I get like six brass or bronze? Sorry. And like six tin. And then where is my, there we go. That's actually about perfect for what I wanted to do. I'll come over here. I just love this. <laughs> just, that is that is so nice. Okay, so we're gonna go. Oops. One two three. One two three. Say copper. It's gonna be our centrifuge, which we're going to need. Tin is the squeezer, which we will definitely need as well, but not for this quest. And the bronze is our carpenter. All right. So carpenter, go. So there's our carpenter, there's our biogas, and electrical engines. Uh, forester, I guess. Let's go with the forester and see what it takes. Forester requires arboretum, four diamonds. Okay, the arboretum. Oh, yeah. I was going to make a lot more of these off camera, wasn't I? The electron tubes and the, the circuit boards, though. We need the carpenter for... Oh, good news. Carpenter actually has EMC to it, though. So you're getting taught to the system. We're going to come over here and pray for diamonds. Two. Not quite as many as I wanted. But you can go, I guess, in here for now. Um, actually, I'm just going to burn you guys up. So I can get my EMC back out of you. And let's see. I guess I could dump this in the system for now because I don't need it. I thought that the black hole band might have needed EMC to suck items up. It, it doesn't. But I will need EMC whenever I finally get around to getting flight. And I'm not doing IC2 stuff right now, so the wrench can go away. Awesome. 
And where's my cans at? Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's just grab five of you. I'm gonna come over here. Grab five cans of water. Let's grab, I guess, a Sterling engine. And like, let's grab 16 charcoal for now, I guess. It'd work. I'm eventually wanting to do a giant IC2 power plant and then run electrical engines. So, so I'm not really bothering with anything at the moment, like actual power wise. And let's make a day. So, let's come over here. We're going to say plunk it right here. I'm going to go Sterling engine, lever. Why did that thing start moving before I put charcoal on it? I'm not the only one that saw that, right? All right, let's put in five buckets of water there. Let's come over. We'll grab another five water cells. Which, or water cans, you do have an EMC, so let's go ahead and teach that to you. May come in handy later. All right, cool. So we have 10 buckets of water in there. Uh, Forester, that's an Arboretum, which is a basic circuit board. So 10 in redstone. I have a feeling I made a carpenter before. I can't remember. So... Uh, nope, there we go. Um, I have some in here, don't I? Oh, I do. And some golden electron tubes. Oh, look, there's a carpenter sitting right there even. Yeah, I've been focused more on just grinding stuff. I've forgotten what I did last episode. But I figure, if nothing else, I will need more of these circuit boards. There we go. You get working. Holy crap, you're chugging along fast. Oh, you're yellow already. Cool. You're green. Hmm. Oh, what was I working on now? I need... Arboretum, which is another sturdy casing. Circuit board. Boom, 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 and that'll be glass around there. I don't think I need an Arboretum for the quest, so thank God for that. Thank God for the small things. And boom, Arboretum. Let's double check. No, I don't. Okay, awesome. So, that is four more diamonds now? Yeah, that's going to have to wait. And to tell you the truth, I don't even know what a Forester does, so... But there's our Arboretum. <clears throat> You're turning these out. You're saying you don't have enough power. Yeah, it's only one Sterling engine. I'm not surprised. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Every once in a while, a mob head will just fall out of the side of the, uh, the mob farm down there. Boom. Okay, let's get four diamonds, though. Actually, I can make that thing right now. Let's do that. So I was looking at the Arboretum. There we go. And was it diamonds in the center? No, no, it's glass in the middle. Diamonds in the corners. Forester. That is now a whole whopping three. Um, the Rainmaker, I think, is going to be a pain, though. So I think it needs... There we go. It needs a hardened casing, which is four diamonds and a sturdy casing, plus half a carpenter of water. Come on, open. Thank you. Which I do have, thank God, enough diamonds to do this. Have you finished with your chips? You have. Okay. Grab those out. Sturdy casing. Four diamonds. Get busy. How are you doing on fuel? 13? Yeah, you may have enough to finish it. Uh, you still working on the gold chip set? Yeah, you are. That's for gated logic in the future, so I'm not that concerned about it off the top of my head. 
right off the bat here. So, um, let's go burn up some torches just because. Did I teach you yet? No, no, now you know. Rainmaker, mushroom picker should be a little interesting, I think. Um, mushroom picker is a logger, which I actually have one, and two of each mushroom. Okay. So let's scroll down to the mushrooms, which are 32, so they're a ways back now. That, that logger. Boom, 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 boom. Mushroom picker. I may actually set up a bunch of like vanilla e farms. Oh, we got both of them. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to replace this with sand and just go to town after that. Because I got this thing now. I don't need. I don't need that logger to automate it. So that is actually our top row done. Biogas. Okay, Rainmaker for our second row. Pumpkin farm, biogenerator, and still. Um. Pumpkin farm is going to require pumpkin seeds, which is a is 36 EMC. Still haven't planted these. I, I'm, I'm a derp. So we're going to grab some bone meal. That should be more than enough. Oop, too far probably. Yep, there they are. They kind of blend in. And let's get some dirt, shall we? And just because I can, I'm going to get another pumpkin seed. Oh, I need a hoe. All right, so I'm just going to plant you guys here for now because I just need you to give me a pumpkin. Just one. I can take care of the rest from there. There's no, like, easy way to force a pumpkin to grow, though. I need to set up my base a little bit better here. I keep running around in circles. Um, let's put circuit boards away. So the pumpkin farm. How about a still? Um, still, here we go, is sturdy casing with redstone. All right, we're doing that right now. That That is, that is stupid easy. All right, um, sturdy casing, redstone, just keep a little bit on us here. And that's the corners, right? Eventually, I'm going to remember the pattern that all these things work in. And there's our still. Cool. Still mushroom picker forester. Oh, I forgot to put a carpenter in here, didn't I? For, or I forgot to put it back. Oh well. I should have one right here, and it can go in there. All right. So the rainmaker is getting worked on. The stills done. Biogenerator. Pumpkin farm. I'm waiting on. So biogenerator, huh? Bio, biogenerator. Uh, this will produce um, IC2 power from like biomass and whatnot. So it is sturdy casing gold. Ooh, that's that's a spendy one there. I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, I do have enough EMC for it, but that's that's, that's about all I have. Um, where? I scroll past it, didn't I? I have so little EMC, it's like the second page now instead of the fourth. Okay. Boom. Sturdy casing. Gold, gold. Glass, glass. Biogen. Boom. So two more. Pumpkin farm and our rainmaker. We'll come over here. You are done. The hardened casing is finished. Awesome. So what... What else can I make out of hardened casings besides, oh, just a Rainmaker. So I need 410 gears. Oof, that's, that's a bit on the spendy side, though. I am going to be just short, aren't I? Wait a second. <laughs> okay, I forgot about you. Uh, 74,000 in there? Awesome. Put you back in there. And that is why those are nice. Okay, 10 gear times, that's iron gear. Did I not? Oh, there it is. One, two, three, 
I could have sworn I taught you a. It was just glass after that, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. Another tree grew. Awesome. So enthused to have a tree. Yep, Rainmaker. So now I'm waiting for a pumpkin to grow. I didn't make one of these and forget, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I have the seeds, but I don't have anything else. And that is still 9 EMC. Hmm. So, what to do, what to do, what to do. How about, do I have any shovels at all? No, I don't. Okay. No, not gold. Definitely not gold. Um, let's grab an iron though. Two sticks. I'm gonna dig up the sand while I'm waiting, I guess. Hopefully it shouldn't take much longer. And you, you really need to learn how to make these. Thank you. You can go away now. All right, come on. Thank you. And I believe if you dig up hummus or humus or whatever it is, this stuff, fertilized soil, it turns into dirt. Yep, it does. Okay. No worries. It's the same cost EMC wise as dirt, so really not all that concerned about it. Do 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 do. Maybe I should make some project red lighting instead. Hmm. That might not be a terrible idea. Uh, it's definitely something to think about. Project red lighting is like stupid easy too. So how much sand is that? Okay, yeah. Go all the way to the end. Grab like a couple stacks of dirt. We'll put that away. And actually, let's do like that. Okay, and then we come through and I'll just... That was not enough dirt, huh? I thought I grabbed two stacks of dirt. Oh, well. Somehow I grabbed some cobblestone instead. Okay, I can live with that, I guess. There we go. There. Oh, well. I'm sitting here going, why did I bother with that? Because it's all going to turn into dirt anyway. Awesome. Tree farm 2.0. Now with 100% more dark matter. Kind of. Ah, oh, you stupid pumpkins, please. Will you grow better if it's daytime? Um, we'll have to wait and see. I would like to get Bronze Age taken care of. I got two more blue slime balls already. Three diamonds. Okay. You can shut the hell up. We have a pumpkin. What happens if I just tap this? Yep. Cool. So you learn that. Get focused. So I need... Actually... You know, I'm just... There. That may do it. And burn that up. Toss that away too. Same with the hoe. I don't need that. I don't need that hoe in my life. Um, I believe that will work. And now, if I take, boom, melon blocks. Thing is, I can't silk touch these things. Yeah, right clicking doesn't work with the axe. There actually is like no real. Um, oh, what was I saying? Uh, no real way to silk touch right now without enchantments and stuff. And I don't have sugar cane yet, so that is a slight bit of an issue. All right, now I'm just going to, because I don't think I need any more melon blocks. 
I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to turn you into seeds, and then throw you in there as well. All right, get eaten, get learned. Give me a sturdy casing and some glass. Because I want to finish this up. And then I actually just got a message on Twitter from the, uh, the pack creator. Um, did I? Yeah, I did, didn't I? What does it need in the middle? Does it need another logger in the middle? Please tell me it doesn't need another logger in the middle. Uh, pumpkin farm? No, it needs an arboretum in the middle. Son of a bitch. All right, well. Hmm. Okay, well, the arboretum was like this, I think. Yeah, I need gold electron tubes, though. Dang it. All right, so we're going to grab you. Oh, you're burnt. Plop you down and get this off my hotbar before I have a really bad day. Do I have my BC wrench? I don't have my BC wrench. Give me my BC wrench. Is it shift right click? Yep, there we go. You're powered. Get some more gla you know, glass now. Just eight for now, I guess. Redstone. Need two of you. I'm gonna need five gold. Why you gotta be so expensive? All right. So, glass goes in. Gold goes in. Redstone. <coughs> Missing liquid resources now, it says. Okay. There we go. It's heating up, melting. And let's see, check the messages real quick. Here we go. Um, yep, okay, here we go. So X Nilo has been added, even though all the recipes are blocked. Oh, cool, it's done. And you know what? Give me some gold. Okay. Oh, no, I need 15 if I'm going to do it this way, because I want three recipes. There we go, 15, and I want, like, six redstone for that, right? Thank you. Can I have my redstone? Cool. So I just want to keep this going while it's running, because, yeah, it still has plenty of glass to play around with here. And, but no, x Nilo was added, but the recipes were blocked so that that way no chunks would generate as a given if you go exploring. Because XNALO does have that option in there. Why don't I open up my Arboretus chest? So I guess that makes sense, yeah. There are other mods that'll do it, but XNALO is actually a pretty low impact mod when you get down to it. Um, boom. Pumpkin farm. We are now done with this quest. I have extra gold electron tubes being made. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna say, give me. And it's got almost a stack of lumber for that. So I'm going to do this, put that there, and we're just going to grab all these. Oh, yes, and by the way, uh, yeah, remove extra utilities because I had it in Builder's Wands, which is what's in my hand right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine to, uh, to keep my save file as is because I've already kind of circumvented the fixes that were done. So that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, anybody else, if you haven't done the, uh, oh, you know what? Turn you off. Unless you've circumvented or fixed the map like I have already, just get the new map. It it work out for the best for just about everybody involved. All right, Bronze Age is, yeah, brown. Let's go over there. Let's go over there and wait. I think everything should be fine and dandy. We just have to wait for the, uh, the pneumatic tubes to kind of catch up. And 
and still waiting. You know, at this point, I'm wondering if there wasn't another oops moment. Let's go see if anything's been returned. Uh, no, it's just being really slow. Oh. Mushroom picker. Okay, I'm going to look at my screenshot again real quick. Yep, mushroom picker, top right corner. All right, so I did see that right. So why did you not get accepted? Um, should be here, right? Filter, you are mushroom farm, not the picker. Okay. So I'm turning the picker in anyway because that's what it asked for. <laughs> but now I need to. Uh, well, there we go. Try to get centered here. I need to send off a message real quick. So I'm going to do that on camera. Uh, by the way, the. Uh, Bronze Age quest asks for I don't type very fast on my phone sorry picker but the filter is looking for mushroom farm send real-time bug reporting everybody of course, by the time this episode comes out, that'll be like two or three days ago. So maybe patched by the time everybody sees this, which would be nice. But we have our chest and we have Lapis. We got ourselves some Lupus. Awesome. Now what can we do with Lapis? We can do advanced machines finally, which is nice. Well, we can make colored cables, but yeah. Uh, Lapitron crystals. Awesome. Advanced circuits. This is one, one of the main things I want. Advanced circuit again. Dino Moat from Industrial Craft Classic. Yes, that's that's fun too, but I'm not playing with that. Uh, a chemical bag. Blue. Oh, there's only 10,000 EMC of these? Oh, 98.50. Hmm. Make lapis blocks. Oh, yeah, extra utility stuff, but no. Uh, logistics pipes. Crafter. Crafting module. Awesome. Uh, body stone. Soul stone. Uh, restores nearby players' hunger. Half a shank every half a second while it's on a pedestal. And they operate for free while they're on the pedestal, by the way. However, pedestals are extremely expensive. Uh, heals nearby players half a heart every half a second. And the Mind Stone sucks nearby XP orbs into the Mind Stone. Cool. Uh, crafting module again. Monitoring upgrade. Fluid supplier. Okay, stained clay. The extra utilities. Colored stuff, which I'm kind of tempted to leave XU in just for that. But I, I guess I could do it with Chisel, too, so... Uh, the transfer stuff. Oh, yeah. Creepy Doll from Ex Nihilo. Blueprint from BC Builders. Blue Wool. Um, blue Power. Oh, yeah. Bundle, Blue Stone, Wire, and stuff like that. Extractor modules. Cool. So I can actually really get into logistics pipes now. Quick Sword. Awesome. Providers. Landmark from Buildcraft. Hmm. And Supplier Logistics Pipe. Awesome. Shapeless. We can make blue paint. We can get some dye going. Make different blue things. Fireworks. The carpenter. Thermionic fabricator. Blue stained glass and lapis electron tube. Which has no use. Okay. It's fair enough. Now, for God's sakes, don't fall into the void while you have the only piece of lapis in the map on you. Actually, I think there is a way to... Uh, Kind of reset the rewards, maybe? I think, I'm not sure if it does or not, but up there, there's a uh, the reset button. But teach it lapis, just burn that, get rid of this stuff. I am going to slime, slime that. Say, give me all the wood. Wow. I don't know what the radius is on it, but it takes care of almost all of this. Wow, this is actually a... Uh, ow! 
Freaking trees, man. That did kind of hurt a little bit. Kind of the problem is you have so many trees that could possibly grow at any moment. You actually have a fairly good odd about standing right where one is going to grow. Drink. There and there. And there. Awesome. I don't really like the forestry farms a whole lot, so I'm actually pretty happy that I have found a way to not have to deal with the damn things. Uh, let's check this real quick, and we are at 46,000 already. So it's actually a pretty, and that just scales. That is the ultimate EMC method generation right now. And, yeah, three diamonds in the meantime. Well, that's got over 40,000. This thing here has already eclipsed that. So, yeah, we're at 47,000, almost 48. We're at 24,500 here. So yeah, you can see which one is the uh, the better choice by far. And this has two EMC on it. I'm just gonna burn it because it's got one use or so left on it. Yep, did I teach you yet? Yes, I did not teach you that. So now you know though. But thank you for joining me. Like I said, uh, I wanted to get that taken care of. We'll be moving on to advanced machines next episode. But I think in the meantime, I am going to be focused more on getting this system upgraded simply because I want more power and or more EMC anyway. I want as much EMC as I can get. And I think I'm going to tear this down because I don't need it, right? I don't need this at all. So actually, hmm, maybe I'll do that on camera because there's a few uh, like destruction catalysts, right? Nova catalyst, which is what? TNT and Novia fuel. TNT, of course, is just gunpowder and sand. Um, oh, I'm like, why is all this stuff showing up? There we go. And then the destruction catalyst can be made into the catalytic lens at the cost of seven dark matter. So probably not. Hyperkinetic lens is another catalyst, dark matter, diamonds. Hmm. Now, nah, I, don't, I don't think I will do that on camera. Because I'm sitting here going... If I misjudge the radius, I could blow that up, and I don't want to. I don't want to take a chance of that. I mean, I don't I really don't want to blow up the starting area, especially in case I die when I don't have a bed. Used to be very bad juju. But like I said, I've already started on these things here, and uh, so the farms are not going to be that important for making EMC. And I don't think there's anything I can really farm that I can't make with EMC. So that, that is kind of a thing. Two things I am curious about how I'm going to get, though, is, well, one thing for certain is nether quartz. This map came out in 125. That was a few iterations before nether quartz was added. But it's been updated, so I wonder if there's a way to get it now. I mean, we have X Nihilo, but we can't sieve it, right? Nether quartz. Recipe is... Okay, we have some ore. Ah, mellow combs. We can get nether quartz. Awesome. Mellow combs come from monastic bees secluded in hermetic. Uh, monastic bees aren't showing a recipe, though. There we go. Uh, hermetic is monastic. You son of a... And uh, secluded. Secluded is monastic and austere. Austere is modest and frugal. Requires temperature between hot and hellish. Requires air and humidity. Frugal is sinister. Yeah, is, is a hell bee. Plus modest. Okay. What does frugal do, anyway? Uh, they produce parched combs. Okay. Austere. Wasn't that powdery combs, which is like, what, bone meal, right? No, it's gunpowder. That's what austere do. Hmm. I don't know, maybe bees might be a fun way to try to get some EMC generation going. But that's kind of neither here nor there at the moment. So I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to play Brazilian Rainforest with this axe real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. So see everybody next time. Until then, sign signing out. Have fun.